All right, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, we're gonna actually do like a catch up with me. <coughs> I still have this cough a little bit. Um, a catch up with me and then kind of just like where I'm at and things like that. Um, I actually have like a base. I'm gonna be cutting flowers because I don't know. I started thinking about doing like self care and like it's one thing to like go and like buy yourself some chocolate or like you know buy yourself an outfit buy yourself some makeup but like little things like having fresh flowers in my room and like you know having you know a clean neat organized like headspace and office space and room space and like setting my boundaries it's something I've been trying to work on all year and it's been something that quite frankly I haven't been very good at um, I actually ended up leaving work at like a regular person's time. I hope that doesn't seem well. Um, because quite frankly, I got myself tulips. I was going to get roses, which is um, like my favorite, but I really couldn't afford them. And I know, I know, I know. Well, if it's self care, Diva, why aren't you splurging on yourself? Don't you? Aren't you worth the twenty dollars? I am, but baby girl. Woo. Um. So yeah, I just got these tulips. And yeah, I actually am going back to school. I don't think I've even talked about it on my channel. I haven't even said anything to really anyone about it. I've kind of just, you know, moved in silence about it. But, because um, I don't know, I don't really want anyone's opinion. I don't, um, I, I I don't think it, it it's something that's nerve wracking to myself already. Um, I'm gonna be 28 in January and I'm going back to school for like, the fourth time. I have a degree in medical billing, I have a degree in medical assisting. Um, the last time I was in actual like school, I was doing business management and then kind of debating doing re like to doing, um, I, do I think I was debating doing, um, I was debating doing real estate for a second. I think these are like too high. I'll cut them some more. But yeah, like, I, again, haven't said much to anyone because I don't want anyone to, like, really rain on my parade. Okay, I think this is much better. Or, like, tell me, like, oh, my God, did that, whatever. Um, I'm trying to, pretty much, I wanted to do, like, be a life coach. And I have been looking into it and looking into it. And um, you pretty much don't need a degree. I mean, you can take maybe a couple classes here and there, just like freelance classes. Again, you know, this stuff I just looked up, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, as far as like an actual degree, no, you don't need it. Um, and something about that just seemed a little odd. A little odd. But again, as a life coach, you're pretty much just helping someone get through a difficult time in their life. Um, helping them see, you know, the brighter side to things. They're pretty. And helping them get through that passage. Then I thought, well, why don't I try and go for counseling, you know? I thought of marriage counseling for a second, but I'm not quite sure. And then now I'm just thinking counseling in general, like, I don't know, because I've always wanted to help people and I've always wanted to do so many different things. I've always wanted to do interior design, I've always wanted to do, you know, you name it, I've probably wanted to do it. Architecture, um, I've wanted to do so many different things. You know, here and there, I wanted to like be an artist. And you know, just like things that like, I, I'm a little bit of everything, you know? And I get that from my mom and I love that, but it's really hard to like narrow down a career and narrow down like the hell I'm doing with my life, you know? Anyways, um, I thought, counseling would be something that I can kind of dive into, um, do something for myself, and that's kind of where the whole self-care thing came, because I feel like I'm just giving way too much of myself, way too much of myself in every aspect of my life besides myself, um, and that's something that I just generally feel like it needs to change. I feel like I'm a walking pad for a lot of things in my life, and I don't like it. Um, I feel like people not walk all over me, because people can't walk all over you unless you let them. But I feel like I let a lot of things slide and I'm a forgiver and it's just no that's not really fair I use the word fair very loosely because I don't know if I like these leaves on here because at the end of the day you define what you're gonna put up with you know um 
yeah, just, yeah, so that pretty much is what I've been doing and that kind of factors into these flowers because I want to have something like just relax. I just want to relax and like find my happy place and like just find myself because, you know, it's, it's been a, a long year. It's been a hard year. The year is almost over. Praise the Lord. Everyone's safe, at least in my family. Um, everyone is safe. I still have my job. Um, I have an income, I have a roof over my head, you know, which is a blessing, but I'm not gonna lie, I feel like, do these need to stay on here? I wonder if they do. I feel like if I, I feel like I can rip them off. I'm gonna rip them off. I'm running out of space here. I'm running out of space here in my base. Um, so anyways, um, I even bought myself a candle, I'm gonna, you know, Watch some TV, moo. Make myself a meal, moo. But yeah, I just feel like I've just been neglecting myself. And even when it comes to like maybe my weight and stuff, you know, I could be trying um, a lot more to just take care of myself. Because the other day, ain't nobody gonna take care of me. Um, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much what I have been doing. Um, I still need to kind of get a couple of things for school kind of organized and like put together much better. Um, but it's been something that I've been wanting to share for a minute. So yeah. Um, trying to figure out what I'm gonna do for my birthday this year. Cause last year, I last year I think I went out with girlfriends. I don't know if we went out, but I know I hung, I was with my friends. And that's another thing, like having your friend group and things like that, because people change, like, it's crazy how people can change in the blink of an eye, you know? Um, or they just show you different sides of themselves that you didn't know they were. Anyways, I'm going to keep going back on to the topic of self-care. Um, self-care is something that, again, guys, just kind of learning as I go. But I've been wanting to do this whole flower thing for a minute. And just like have flowers in my in my room. Um so when I wake up, I feel them nice and they smell nice and fresh and pretty. And then just honestly saying affirmations in the morning and giving myself a positive pep talk has really kind of helped. Um, because sometimes I really am a negative Nancy. It's really bad. I just kind of sit there and like shit on myself. It's like I just talk shit to myself. Like this is gonna be a horrible day. Da, da, da. And now I've kind of like tried working into like this is gonna be a great day. I can do this. It's gonna be okay. You know, take a deep breath. And mostly like I've been doing a lot of like I've noticed when I do like a nice bath. I don't do anything crazy. I literally just use like the like the Doctor Teals. I think. Like their Epsom salt or their bubble bath um, thing. And then I literally just put that in my bath and then that's literally my self-care. I know people do like so many other things. They do like crystals, they do like, I'll show you guys so you guys can actually see. They do like crystals, they do like um, um, incense candles, they do like a glass of wine, they do like the whole shebang. Honestly, I don't have a whole lot of time. Again, I love my parents, so. It's not like I have a plethora of time just to go die in a bathroom and do self-care because I'm telling you, my mom will literally be like, do you want to get out of the bathroom? I'm like, really? Really? But it's really because, you know, everyone has to, you know, go to the bathroom. So I want to have time to be doing all that, but I do like to take a nice good bubble bath for a good 20 minutes and just kind of soak and just close my eyes and just forget. Just forget anything that seems to be bothering me because honestly, it's a fleeting thing. It's You're not gonna remember anything that's bothering you or irritating you in the next year. You're not gonna remember it unless it's like some tragic event in your life. You're not gonna remember it. And just kind of keeping that focus because I'm with the company. I work for a company that like, I've just been having a hard year. I've been hard, having a hard year setting my own boundaries of what I will and will not do. How hard I will will not work and reminding myself I don't want to be with this company for five billion years I want to do my own thing I want to have my own brand I want to have my own YouTube YouTube channel be monetized I 
I'm not trying to make sure I don't forget about my own goals. You know what I mean? Because sometimes I feel like I just get so wrapped up and I give so much of myself to a company, to a person, to anyone that needs me that I totally disregard myself. I like totally disregard my own self-care things and, you know, making sure that I'm okay. You know what I mean? Because it's not someone else's job to make you happy. It's really not. I've come to that conclusion in, in relationships, you know, you know, even with relationship with the girls or, or with like friends or like, you know, um, a romantic relationship. It's not that spouse's job to complete you or to make you happy. It's actually your own job. It's not that person's job to make sure that you're okay and you're safe and you're well. That is a great thing for someone to do and it is expected, like common sense of a spouse, but it's not something that they are it's not something that they are legally bounded to do i guess that's what i'm trying to say anyway so i've been trying to work on like my self-confidence and things aspects of my life that i want to change just like honestly like little things like cooking a meal for myself you know it sounds kind of small and silly but i don't really cook for myself i don't really like you know, I generally feel like I don't take care of myself. I don't really, like, give myself a lot of pep talks. I feel like I have lost touch in a lot of the skills that I have. Because um, I don't harness them. I don't I don't wield them enough. I don't practice them enough. Like, my channel should be a lot further than it is. But my ass be over here dedicating. I'm telling you, I just got off, like, an eight-hour. No, 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 no. The other day, I did, like, a 11-hour shift. For a company that doesn't care. They don't care. They don't cover my hopes and dreams and aspirations. They don't care. They just want your blood, sweat, and tears and dedication. And you can dedicate your whole life and it is what it is. Like you can set a boundary saying, I'm not gonna do this. And then someone will be like, okay, well that's your boundary, you know? I don't have that. Like if people aren't coming, like let's say someone called me like, hey, so-and-so didn't come in. Can you work their shift? Like I'm coming in for some other reason. Like I don't have the boundary to be like, no, I'm not coming in, you know? Like, I, I can't, you know, I have things to do. Um, or just no. Um, I've started doing self-care of just like, obviously my nails. My nails is one of the things that's like a non-negotiable. Um, that's how I kind of got like my, my small, tiny, 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 small step of self-care is getting my nails done. That's like bare minimum for me. That's why I always have my acrylics done. Like, my nails are like everything. Um, it's, I mean, I've had my nails done since inception, since I can remember, since I was like a teenager. Um, and going to the nail salon and going to your nail lady and like just being able to put your headphones on and just like relax and know that your your hands are like really pretty. It's gonna help you make, make you feel good about yourself. That is my, it's like the best thing ever, so. Anyways, so I have these two lips. I actually went to Pavilions and I got this candle. Um, here and there, I'll, I started getting into these Glade candles and like, I know it kind of sounds a little corny, but I don't ever remember like buying these candles. Like, I don't remember ever like, uh, maybe growing up my mom had these candles, I don't know. But my, me, myself as an adult, I've never actually purchased these. I've got them from TJ Maxx, my candles from Marshalls, Target, Ikea, you name it, I've gotten it from there. But you know, actually like grocery store candles, I stopped buying from Ralph's a long time ago because they never smelled like anything. So I got this um, amber and oud um, candle. My favorite scent is vanilla. This kind of has like that relaxing musk scent to it. Plus it's like inexpensive. I got a candle. Um, oh, I was like, what is that? I got a candle, I have some flowers. I'm gonna actually make myself a meal. Um, I was really proud of myself that day. Like I literally made myself like fettuccine with like broccoli and mushrooms and I like was so proud of myself because I actually like made myself a meal, sat down, you know, watched some TV, just like had like me time. And I'm telling you guys, that's something that I'm really trying to incorporate because I don't want to just burn out. I don't want to just not live up to my potential and not have fun doing what I like to do. Like I love filming. I generally love making videos. And I just feel like if I had, like, and that's the thing, I wish if I had more time, like, I could carve out the time, like, it's like 7.35, I just got off of work, I just went to the store, and I'm sitting here making a video, because I made the time. And that's one of the things I'm trying to teach myself, because if I don't make time for things that I have talent for, and things I want to do, I'm never going to succeed in anything. I'm going to end up the same place I am now, this time of the year. 
and I don't like where I am. I don't, I don't, I don't freaking like it. You know, I should, I, I, it's not even about standards or, oh, where I should be in my life. No, I deserve happiness. Everyone deserves happiness. I'm generally, I can tell you, I'm not, you know, happy exactly where I am because it has nothing to do with the money. It's the fact that I feel tired. I'm exhausted. I'm, I'm, you know, helping someone else's business grow and, and flourish and develop. And that's not mine. It doesn't have my name on it. I don't write it off on my taxes. You know, working for a company, I think that's cool for, you know, people who want to do that. Like, but I just, I don't want to do that anymore. I just don't. And I realized this like years ago. And I'm just trying to like, and it's not a dream come true. Like, no, I'm trying to make sure like I can hold my own and be on my own and do my own thing. No, no, I feel like people work for people. And I think for my, for me, loyalty is huge. Loyalty and respect are huge things. And I'm, I'm telling you, like today at work, I just, I just, I, I, the fact that someone can't just tell you, you know what, I know you're doing a good job and I appreciate it. You know, I know, you know, it's not easy right now, but I appreciate that, you know, um, you've been working hard. Like, and I feel like, you, it, I don't know, I've gotten up to here with people just not appreciating how I feel like I work my ass off. That's something my parents have taught me. They've instilled in me that you give 100%. And it's, it's what you do. Um, but anyways, so that's how I kind of got into self-care because I used to do massages like every other week for self-care and I stopped doing it because I started like adding up, but I need to go back because I deserve a nice, good, relaxing massage. I don't know about you guys, but massages are like one of my favorite things, favorite things. Um, I'm even trying to figure out what I want to buy myself for Christmas this year and my birthday because you know what? I deserve to buy myself a gift. I don't know what I'm going to buy myself. That's kind of what I'm trying to figure out because I could really splurge and, you know, buy something. But I don't, I don't know what I want. I don't know if I want, like, a wallet. But I have I have wallets, so I don't really know what I need. But I don't know. And I just, like, treat myself to something. And that's kind of where this whole self-care thing. You know what? I, I know what I do know what I want. I want an iPod. I know it sounds silly, but I want an iPod, and then I want like one of those little iHome things, and I want to buy like a hundred dollar iTunes gift card. And I know, I know, I know it sounds, I know it sounds silly because you have Spotify and you have Pandora. I, I know, I know, I know, but I want to buy all my favorite songs, and I want to put it on this iPod, and I just want to have it playing throughout the day. That's all I want. It's literally all I want. I want to have all my favorite songs that make me happy, that make me, you know, feel. Ooh, in one happy place. That's what I want. Anyways, so that is the catch up with me. Um, there's really nothing more besides the whole school thing going on. Um, I am trying to post more. <laughs> Um, really trying, really, really trying, really trying. I'm definitely posting a lot more on my Instagram. Um, that's something that I'm surprised I am actually, I'm so happy my tree's up. Oh my God, you guys don't even know. That tree makes me so happy. Um, but yeah, um, I am going to make myself food now because food is friend. And I think I'm going to make myself a scrumptious, deliumptious. Sandwich. I'm thinking of doing my nails like a red glittery French tip for Christmas. I'm not quite sure, but I think that's what I want to do. I was thinking for a minute to get my lips done for my birthday, but I don't, I don't know. I'm like kind of nervous. I was thinking about getting this done too. Like, imagine if it wasn't like. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know. But thanks, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd really, 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 really appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks.